Today, I'm gonna be completing an entire marathon in Ikea. Yeah, I'm totally not gonna wear this in there. So Ikea is known for a lot of things. It's enticing furniture, abundant appliance catalog, stylish decor, role-playing being successful and owning a nice house, or for even having a cafeteria in the store. Yeah, notice how I didn't say anything along the lines of completing a marathon in the store. But you know, just add it to the list. So my game plan is to keep a low profile in here because I don't want to act suspicious because I'm going to be here a while. So I'm just going to pretend like I'm shopping for something. Thankfully there's a lot of people in this store and it's huge so I kind of just blend in. My biggest enemy isn't going to be my fitness. I'm a pretty determined guy. But throughout Ikea I have to look out for the workers dressed as bananas. They are my biggest threat. They can kick me out at any moment for looking suspicious walking around their store for the whole day. You know it's not the most normal thing to be doing. I better get out of this location. So I'm about three miles in, and I'm loving this so far. It's making me want to buy a house, but I don't have that kind of money yet. So I'm five miles in right now, feeling great still. Not really getting too bored. My only threat is getting kicked out by these workers, or else I'm not slowing down. It's like the adult version of Disneyland because there's so many sections of this place. I've been here for like an hour and I haven't even walked through the whole store yet. This is freaking crazy. It's so big. Those are words I never heard before. I didn't even know that there was a bottom floor of this place. This has doubled all my distance I could do. This bottom floor is really a lifesaver right now because, I'll be honest, I was making eye contact with a bunch of workers a lot. I started to look a little bit suspicious. I am 8.2 miles in. I'm gonna keep going strong. I just have my headphones in. I'm basically just acting like I'm on a phone call, talking to my make-believe roommates. In actuality, I'm just listening to the music. Feels like I'm at the gym on a treadmill or something. There are many, many to see how this plays out. So apparently Ikea has really good food, especially their meatballs. So at the half marathon, I'm excited to try the food. I'm gonna sit down, take a little bit of break. As they say, fika. I didn't know a furniture store had meatballs as one of its best sellers. Interesting, but I'm all for it. I'm looking forward to the halfway point. basically have a Home Depot in Ikea. This is actually awesome. I'm gonna bang out so many laps. So I'm pretty stupid. I did the 100,000 step challenge already. If you didn't see that, it's on my channel. But during that, a very vital part of it was 
a portable charger. And you know what I forgot today? A portable charger. My phone's already on 15%. Airplane mode, can't listen to music or anything, no phone calls. It's just gonna be me and Ikea. Mile 13 done, halfway point. You know what it's time for. I mean, who doesn't like tasty balls? I got their famous meatballs straight from Sweden. I'm so hungry. They're good. Sweden got good balls. Is Sweden actually known for their meatballs? Or is this kind of just random? I'm still in awe of how big IKEA actually is because I know the point of this challenge is for me to be here a while, but I feel like even if you're a regular shopper, you're gonna be here at least over an hour just because how big it is and how long it takes to walk around. I've been walking around for four and a half hours and I only memorized 45% of the whole store. Maybe by the end I'll get to 100, that could be a sub goal. It's really big. And no, I'm not talking about the balls. The best way for me to describe that food is my stomach is pretty satisfied right now but later tonight, my stomach and the toilet are probably gonna go to war. I decided to go home and take a break. Just kidding, I'm still in the middle of Ikea. I wish I could just run and get this over with, but you know, I don't wanna to become too much of a suspect because if you just have some kid running around the store, I'm sure you're gonna get kicked out. I'll probably look like a madman or I'm trying to steal something, which that's not my intent. I'm just gonna try to speed walk without looking too suspicious. 63, and a new Olympic record was about to be set. I know I've been here a while because it's 5 o'clock now and I start at 11 a.m. The workers are leaving and I'm still putting in miles. 10 more miles to go. It's like PTSD because this is the same exact feeling I got from the 100,000 steps. I'm just reliving the experience right now. It's great. It's great. There's a couple blisters on my feet. They do not feel good right now. If you're gonna do some kind of walking challenge, you gotta expect blisters. I'm feeling it, it's starting to get hard. My feet hurt, blisters were raging, legs feeling extremely fatigued, but I kept knocking out the miles. 18, 19, 20, 21. All I could think about were the same tables, the same beds, the same boxes. I've been walking in the same space for seven hours. I was feeling mentally and physically drained, but I still had my goal in mind. Behind all those excuses, it was still there. So I pushed through. 23, 24, two more. I'm gonna finish strong. One more. I really don't understand what was in me when I did the 100,000 steps. I give you props past Matt. Completed marathon in Ikea. Was I here all day and was it tough? Yes. Does Ikea have good meatballs? Yes. Are you gonna subscribe? Hopefully, because it's free. Road to a thousand, I'll see you in the next one.
Peace.